Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com, coming at you with 2022 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. Random team break number three. Got an early bird giveaway spot here. If you're one of the first 16 who purchases a spot, you got a chance at an extra spot. Here's the first 16 right here, thank you. You got a chance at that early bird spot. New dice, new list. Let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a one, six times. Name on top. Gets that extra spot. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. Congrats to Andrew. Extra spot for you. Thanks for being an early bird. Now don't worry. Everyone else, you're still in the break, obviously. Still could get a nice team. There's all the spots right there, plus the non-sport, non not non-spot, but non-sport, non-baseball spot. All right, so let's gather everyone's names again. Second dice roll, names and teams, five and a six, 11 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And 11 the final time. After 11, we got Adam down at Donald. So it'll be a 31 spot break. Five and a six, 11 times for the teams. One, two, Three, four. Eleventh and final time. Six and a five. Five and a six. Eleven times. There's eleven. Got the Rays down to the Braves. All right, so here's how it shakes out. Adam with the Rays, Andrew with the Giants, Sam with the Phillies, Carl with the Cubs, last spot Mojo, Adam with the A's, Jeremy with the Guardians, Rick with the Red Sox, Adam with the Pirates, Allen with the Cardinals, Corey with the Twins, Jacob with the Nats, Adam with the Rocks, Carl with the O's, Andrew with your early bird spot, you got my Dodgers, Kevin with the Diamondbacks, Brandon with the Mariners, Sam with the Yankees, and that non-sport, non-baseball spot. That could be a big one there. TJ, Blue Jays. Uh, Jeremy, Reds, Andrew, Rangers, Rick with the Tigers, Jarrett with the White Sox, Ed with the Marlins, Adam with the Angels, Scott with the Mets, Adam with the Royals, Walter with the Astros, Shea with the Padres, Jeremy with the Brew Crew, and Donald with the Braves. So let's get all these on one page here. It's alphabetized by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done, so the list remains the same. There it is, hot off the presses. Here on Tuesday, the 22nd, 2022, Allen and Ginter Baseball. There's everybody right here. Thank you. And there's Evan right there. And he's going to help us pack, stack this break, which should help make it go a little more, more quickly. We should be able to get this in about an hour with Evan's help, instead of the hour and a half plus. I'm going to take a box right here, so he's going to load all the boxes on the cart. You'll see it right there. I think uh, half stacks per box, and you can put box hoppers right here. We'll do all those at the end. Right, let's get started with this one. Good luck, everybody. So we're looking for any of those three cards. Ooh, and a box topper rip card to lead things off. Wow. And it's the babe. Tw uh, 76 out of 88. Wow. That's an awesome way to start things off. That's going to go to Sam and the Yankees. Congrats to you. So we'll send that off to you, and when it's in your hands, you can you can decide, am I ripping it? Am I keeping it? Am I selling it? I think that's a new feature this year. I feel like I haven't seen box loader rip cards. Right. Right? The same way, yeah. I feel like I haven't seen those in previews. That's, that's a new thing. And you're, you're a big fan of this product. I, I do yeah. like this. Yeah. Just because it's... 
It's so there's just so so much weird stuff going on here. Yeah. Oh, Justin says hi, French. Hey, what's going on, brother? Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. What's everyone? Evan, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? You have any plans? I am a lucky man. My whole life, both sides of the family have held Thanksgiving half a block apart. Oh, wow. So I get to go to dinner one and dessert the other. Wow. Yeah, very lucky. That makes, that makes life easy. What about you, Jojo? Uh, I'm actually going out of town. Very cool. I'm going to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You're Cleveland. Going to Cleveland with, uh, with a friend of mine. That's one of my... And, uh, destinations is the Rock and Roll Hall, for sure. Top destinations that you have been to? No, I need to go that to. That you want to go to, I just yeah. to Elton John's final concert. So oh, yeah. yeah, how was that? It was At Dodger Stadium, yeah, right? Yeah, wow, did he did he wear the whole Dodger sequin jacket uh, and all that? No, modified. He made it into a robe. Oh, a oh, robe. Yeah. Was it a good show? It was It was a great show. I've never seen a performer look happier. Nice. Uh, well, uh, but the set list was to be desired. Oh. Yes. Wait. He played a lot of the pockets. And, uh huh. Uh, I'm more of a B side guy. Whoa! You wanted a, you wanted deep cuts. I did, but I knew it was never gonna get that in his final show. Yeah. Right. He had to play the he had to play the hits. Yeah. Final, you know, final little oh, go around. All right. So here's box one. Good luck. Now remember. Uh, Commons won't ship, but rookie cards will ship, and obviously all inserts and parallels will ship, and all Thanks, these right. all these minis will ship. And there's National Nurses Day. Uh, did, 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 have you ever observed National Nurses Day? I, I have not. You have not. Didn't even know that was a thing. Didn't even know that was a thing. Right, exactly. I was gonna be like, you guys don't pay attention. I didn't to that. get no day off. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, this is this is this is for people who want to like virtue signal. They're just like, hey, happy nurses day. And you're like, what? Oh no, I'm trying to save lives here. I don't, I don't pay attention to that. There's Whit Merrifield, Royals, Adam. Uh, have you ever been to Joshua Tree National Park? I have not. How about you? You have not? No, I need to go. Really? Yeah. I've been there a ton. I've been camping there a nice. bunch of times. Yeah, I gotta go camping. Well, it's a, some mild, some like light rock climbing. Ooh. That's there. Yeah, my old roommate. And the hiking. Yeah. I thought you growing up here, this would have been a thing. Yeah, you know, uh, my family, my parents, I should say, are not the biggest outdoors. Ah, I see. Just me and my brother. I see. Uh, here's some rivals here. Are, are you a Taylor Ham guy or are you a pork roll guy? Uh, I'm going to go pork roll. Pork on roll. That one. What about you? I think I'm going pork roll yeah. as well on like a. On a little. Uh, you know, at like Cantor's Deli yeah, or something ooh, like that. Ooh. Now you're talking dirty. And I haven't been there in a minute or two. Yeah. I went to good old Froman's. So Froman's is solid. Solid. Uh, a little disappointed that Izzy's closed. I know. That was another good one too. Twenty-four seven. I don't know. Swingers closed too. Froman's is nice, but it's they're not twenty-four hours. Yeah. yeah. I think mm. they close early. A little disappointing. Yeah. We'll start one up, Joe. Breaking mm -hmm. in and Delhi. Breaking in Delhi? <laughs> oh, that would be great. That'd be awesome. Here's a. I don't know who this is. Luke Westman, a tattoo artist. But there's his autograph. That goes to the non sports spot. This could end up being a really good spot. Sam Rill. That one. There you go, Sam. I want to say there is another deli on the west side. That, uh, is that what it? The one on Westwood, near Guitar Center. Oh, that uh, place closed too. I think. Yeah, it did. Yeah, and same with the one that was in the marina. Ah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just losing good delis all over the place. Oh, There's Wander Franco, Ray's. Yeah, and, and it's like I love Cantor's, but I mean that's a little. It's a, it's a mission. It's a bit of a hike. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's a little yeah. pricey. I think, I think they're, I think they're trading on their name. Yes. Uh, Redwood National Park. I've been there too. I have been nice. there. Nice. You have. Yes. I've Northern been California, there. Oregon border. Beautiful. Really nice. 
Very nice part of the world there. Got some minis here. How do you feel about the Meatball Hero? Uh, you know, my dad's favorite, not mine. It's a little too much. Too much, exactly. Too heavy. I think I asked Michael this when he was pack stacking for us, and he was just like, man, that's like snooze cruise. Yes. Like, like yes. you're just going to be in food coma after that. <laughs> Buster posing. And there he is again, the tattoo artist, Westman. That'll be for Sam and that non sport spot. And non baseball spot, too. So he'll get like those famous rivals cards, the, the sauce cards, the what a steel card. There's the burger, that's a classic. Burger. Do you like the hamburger, Evan? I love the hamburger. Yeah, what, kind of, what kind of burger do you like? What do you like you on your burger? Man? Here's the deal. I'm a picky eater. Okay. You give me some lettuce, some bacon, some beef on a bun, I'm a happy man. That's it. What about some, do you go cheese? Nope. No cheese, no, okay. No okay. cheese and meat for this Jew over here. Gotcha. All right, all right. All right, so here's another stack. Right here, another stack right there. That's, that's a box. Here is another box right over here. And then we'll have all these box hoppers collected right here. We'll do those all at the all at once at the end. Logan, what's going on? All right, another box. Oop, there's our first Julio Rodriguez, Manny Ramirez. National Ice Cream Day. What's your favorite ice cream, Evan? Ooh, that's a great question. Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter? Yeah. Okay. Uh, they got those little veins of peanut butter. Mm. Seattle, this is for Brandon. I like a good, uh, okay, I'm a mint chip guy. Okay. Or a, uh, a sherbet guy, a rainbow sherbet oh, or an orange sherbet. Dude, speaking of Fromans, it's the best rainbow sherbet. Yeah, they do, actually. Ooh, now I know what I'm all right, there is Jorge Posada, piece of his lumber for the Yankees. Another one for Sam. Talk about a grinder. That guy worked hard. Logan, what, me too. What, what, what kind of ice cream do you like? What's everyone's favorite ice cream? Butter pecan for, for French. All right, all right. These are some good rivals. Robert E. Lee, Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> Grant, a great general. No, not so great of a president. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think those those don't always always <laughs> match up. Yeah, that, yeah those don't that. always match up. Yeah. Bobby Wood Jr. Mini Trey Turner. There's Rob Riggle. Oreo oh, Blizzards are fantastic. TJ's a Rocky Road guy. That's a good one. Yeah. Rocky Road. That's a good one. Classic. Rex is thinking about stopping by the old Dairy Queen, getting a Blizzard. Oof. Love the Oreo Blizzard. I've not had a Oreo Blizzard. Blizzard. Those are not my thing. Thomas also likes the mint chip. I do like the mint chip. There you go. Baskin Robbins still makes a classic mint chip. That's pretty good. Baskin And there's a, another rip card. Wilson Contreras, 71 out of 99. That will be for Carl and the Cubs last spot mojo. Inside the park, we got Bryce Canyon National Park. I've been there too. That's a nice, that's a nice spot of the world. Although I think I've only been there once. I think I'm more of a Zion Canyon guy. And some famous rivals. Dang. 
Logan likes the Dulce de Leche, some pistachio for Carl. Moose oh, tracks. Moose tracks. So moose tracks. That, oh. that is pretty good. Oh, can't go wrong. Got another national park. Uh, North Cascades National Park. I have not been there. <laughs> Where is that? Washington? Oh no. Doesn't say on the back. Sounds like the Pacific Northwest. Right? Yeah. And we've got a piece of uh, Drew Rosenhaus's uh, shirt. Who knows what kind of deals he was making in this in this shirt. <laughs> Or maybe, maybe he was just having lunch that day. Who knows? Uh, that goes to Sam in the non-sport, non-baseball spot. All right, that was a, that was a box. Here's another box. Green baseball lexicon. Oh yeah, getting the green light, of course. Something Joe would get on. I get, I get, I get the green light. Yeah, I get the green light on three and zero. That's for sure. Pete Alonzo, piece of his jersey, going to Scott and the Mets. Olympic National Park. I've not been here either. Not that. Uh, That's got to be Washington, Washington yes. State, right? Right, got you. And we got a piece of Gary Sanchez's lumber. Game used lumber going to Corey and the Twins. With Thanksgiving around the corner, what's everyone's favorite Thanksgiving food? Evan, what's your favorite Thanksgiving related food? Yeah, man. It's gotta be the pumpkin pie. The pumpkin pie, okay. Pumpkin pie and some Pumpkin good old pie is turkey. pretty good. What about you? Yeah, I like the pumpkin pie. Uh, I often make a pumpkin pie. Ooh. Um, and, a, and an apple crumble I can make too. Kings Canyon, I've been to. That's in California. Yes. That's a nice one. I could uh, I can make a little bit of a pie. Okay, it's nothing okay. too common. I don't make my own crust, which I think okay, okay. it's a little little too much That's for advanced. me. Yeah. A green bean casserole. Yeah. My sister makes a good mashed potato. Oh. Sister makes a good mashed potato and uh, I do enjoy that. There's Boba Shet. Blue Jays, that's gonna go to TJ and the Blue Jays. Poor Hank Greenberg looks like he's having a bad day in the set. <laughs> he looks <Yeah>. so unhappy. <laughs> this grumpy old Hank Greenberg. Yeah. Buried next to my grandpa. Is he really? Yeah. Where's Hank Greenberg? Where's where, right Where's right that? On the side of the 405, right by that, across from the Howard Hughes Center. Across from the Howard Hughes Center. Okay, I know where that. Yeah. I didn't realize. Yeah, oh, there is. Hill, yeah, there is. Star on it, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I didn't realize that Hank Greenberg was here. Right next to Mr. Larry Miller. Wow. Is Hank Greenberg from out here? No, he's not. His uh, family ended up settling out here. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. Huh. Does he still have the RBI record? He does, for the first half. The first half? For the first half. Gotcha. He had 101. 
Who beat his total RBI record? Uh, I believe in the 90s, somebody. Oh, someone did. Yeah, I know it's been a while. All right, there's another box right here. Another box over here. Good progress here. Yeah, we're flying through. Rex makes a green bean casserole with mashed potatoes, green beans, and cream of chicken instead of mushroom. Oh, I like that. Mm. I like that okay. instead right. of mushroom. I like that. That's my least favorite part of it. I don't mind a good cornbread as well Ooh. at Thanksgiving. Ooh. Or just any roll of any kind, fresh. Yeah, made. yeah. Ooh. I like my cornbread with still with pieces of uh, corn in it. Ah, uh, I disagree. You don't like it, no. No, no, I don't want to bite mm. this up the ground. Mm. What about with jalapeno? No, I yeah, can't. Yeah, it's not. That's a no Four out of ten. It's a Ernie Banks mini. Let's play two. That's going to be for Carl and the Cubs. I bet, right? Is that, is that different? That actually might be more of a canvas material in here. If you take a look at that closely when you get it. Piece of cloth, which is kind of cool. And, wow, look at that. We got Martin Sheen. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Great. Man. He's done so much. He's done so much stuff. And then Jason hit Charlie. Did Jason hit Charlie yeah, Sheen? You think there's a dual auto of the Sheens Ooh, in here? I don't know. I haven't looked at the checklist, but Martin Sheen, man, he's done. A, he's done a lot of stuff. I'm a big fan of the Martin Sheen. Jason hit. Uh, he was. I mean, if you go Badlands from his early days, was pretty great. He was in Apocalypse Now. Yes. Yeah, so I enjoyed that. Okay. He was in the the Dead Zone, Firestarter. Wall Street, of course, right, with his son, I believe, in Wall Street. He was in JFK. He did uh, West Wing. He was in the West Wing oh. for a while. The American President. Man, a lot of great stuff. A lot of great, I'm just, I'm just glancing through his filmography. Catch Me If You Can. He was in The, the, the Departed. He was the captain. Mm -hmm. Oliver Queen in Departed. And he's done a lot of, he's done a lot of great stuff. A lot of great stuff. Same with both his kids, regardless yeah. of their few problems. There you go, there's a camera flint. So that goes to the non sports spot. It's for Sam. There you go, Sam. There's the goose. Uh, you ever go fishing, Evan? Here's National oh, Go Fishing yeah. Day. I love fishing. Kind of a problem when you get seasick, but you do it best. You right. Can. I, I, it's hit or miss when I get seasick or not, but I, I don't. I, some days I'm like, oh yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm an old sea dog. Yeah, and then some days. And the other day I'm just, a, I'm just a, a land lover. <laughs> yeah, get me back. <laughs> but. It's great. I, I, I really enjoy it. Mm. Be a Jaspie outing next summer. We charter a boat and go deep sea fishing or something Shoot, like that. That'd be, epic. that'd be a lot of fun. Here's a goose. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> it's just a goose, yeah. I love it. That's what I love about this set. There's just random stuff in here. Oh, it's having a microwave Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot. Do you like the peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Oh, one of the best. What about you? Oh yeah, love it. Yeah. I'll, I'll even go peanut butter honey sandwich. Oh yeah, absolutely. What kind of, what, what's, what's, too, what's the, no? you know someone mentioned banana the other day. I'm not a banana, not okay. a. Okay, Do you like the banana in the peanut butter? I, I do, I do, especially when I put the honey on there. John Carl Stanton. Uh, grape jelly, strawberry jelly, what, what's your doesn't preserve matter. of choice? Doesn't matter. doesn't matter, I like I both mean, too. I like strawberries more in general, but. I think strawberry as well, but. It's all good. It's all a bunch of good 
Oh, we're almost there. Oh yeah, we're almost there. Nice. They call me the pack stacking man. Pack stacking man. <laughs> Uh, Sequoia National Park. I've definitely been here. That's a, that's that's pretty pretty great place. If you can't blow off some steam there. Yeah. Then. And we got a piece of Mark Teixeira's jersey. Oh, man. I about that guy. Yeah, classic. That'll be for the Yankees. That'll be for Sam. Like he started the angels down their path with bad, expensive <laughs> contracts for old people. <laughs> He's what kicked it off. <laughs> exactly. All right. Let's get some more going here. Got some minis here. It might rain a little bit actually, okay. but I think it's not really snow. I think like, okay. like mid 40s or something like that. It's Brandon Nemo, who's a free agent. Scott Goodman with the Mets. A lot of people I think are going to be kicking the tires on Brandon Nemo. Judge was in San Francisco today. Yeah, I think Rex mentioned that earlier today. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, what's going to come of that. A lot of people well, would, family. yeah. A lot of people like the he's going back home narrative. Yeah. Does that ever? How often does that really happen? Though? No. Almost never, right? No. Sad. I wish it would happen more. Yeah. Some players have mentioned they don't like it because you're, you're around your family the whole time. Well, yeah, and it's like you know. Everyone and their cousins are hitting you up for tickets and, oh. you know, blah, 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 blah. It's like, okay. it's a little, yeah, and it's a little harder to focus when, okay. I'm, I, I can see when that. friends and family are around yeah, yeah. so they can just. Also, you get a little comfortable sometimes. Yeah. I'm sure there are some guys that play for the Dodgers that get a shock first couple games right. where they have to go through traffic. Right. <laughs> There's Jack Sawinski. It's for the Pirates. Um, I was listening to a Dodgers radio broadcast. Jack Sawinski, by the way, goes to Adam and the Pirates. And I think I think Rick Monday was, was suggesting that the reason why... Betts ended up re-signing with the Dodgers because like his first year or so was during COVID and there was like nothing around, nothing open, no traffic, nothing like that. And that might have, oh. that might have like, he was like allowed him to, city. well, yeah, allowed him to enjoy LA <laughs> yeah. and then discover because most people, you know, don't want to discover because it's such a hassle to discover, right. but he was able to, and he's like, oh, there's my bowling alley. There's like my place to go. And huh. And stuff like that, and then, I could see that. and then he's like, "Okay, I can live with the traffic." And now that I know where all my things are, right? I mean, we're back to pre-pandemic traffic. So oh yeah. It took me two hours to get home on last week. Well, but... And then you got to worry about like, you know, like, if, is it Monday night football? Is yep. like a football game going on? Yep. Are the Lakers playing? Yeah. You know, is there a concert? All right. There's a uh, Ian Grushka, a musician. I don't know who this is. Ian Grushka, oh, is the uh, founding member and the bassist for New Found Glory. All right, I remember those guys. There you go, this will go to Sam. He floated me and I think that says something because don't players negotiate just over the phone and through the eight? Not really. If you're a free agent of Aaron Judge's caliber, you do, you definitely do the free agency tour. Well, Rex, we'll know next year when Shohei gets paid. Right, yeah.
But yeah, free agents of, of judges level definitely want to get courted. They definitely want to do, do team visits. They definitely do yeah. that whole thing. Especially because it's going to be where you go for the rest of your right. career. There's a mini Wander Franco for Adam in the race. I think you can calculate that Babe Ruth contract, though. Because I think Fangraphs has a tool where they estimate values of players based off of the wins above replacement numbers and what the average salary is per win above replacement. That's crazy. That's awesome. So they kind of they do that. So you can probably take the wins above replacement and calculate what the average salary is for that wins above replacement and you can get a general idea oh, of what his salary is going to be. Now some years are obviously going to be much higher than others because but then you just have to average it out and, and try to guess what the what a realistic contract would be. There's Justin Verlander Astros edition for Walter. They got everything on the They got it all. So with little calculation, little research, here's a marble duck. Name for their marble pattern. Yeah, that's obvious. <laughs> I like a, I like a duck. I like yeah. ducks. You ever had duck? I've never had a duck. I've never I've never eaten a duck. It's like dark meat. But uh, but I like you know I like going to that park Douglas with park. the duck Douglas oh, yeah. Park with the ducks. Oh yeah. Hang out with ducks. I feel like that's always crowded there. No. It's man. not. It's not. Is it Memorial Park that's always crowded? Yes. Memorial always. always crowded. Now they started charging for parking too. So. What? Yeah, Memorial. They have meat if they have uh, really? those pay machines. Oh no. And, uh, what about uh what about Emerson Park? I like where Emerson. The, where the tennis courts are at. Yeah. Now, have you ever I haven't played there. I haven't played there. I always I always I never have time to do it, that's the problem, but I always yeah. thought like, oh, should I do, should I get like the membership and then right, like... Right, right. The impeccable filler, uh, sure. I'll add some spots back into that impeccable basketball. Yeah, Rex, it's good. Because we're giving away three in the filler, right? So let's put three back. Had some quail too, quail's good. <laughs> All right, I added full spots back, Mark. Go for it if you'd like. And let's help fill up that impeccable basketball filler, too. All right, so we got uh, full-size Julio Rodriguez and a mini Julio Rodriguez. That's Both of those are going to Brandon and the Mariners. Oh, we had an MLS player coming today. Oh. The goalie for New England. The Revolution. Yes. Uh, who? His name is uh, Peel. It's French. That guy right there. Third one. Oh. That guy right there? Yep. Clement Deal? Yep. yep. Great guy. And then in halftime of the uh, French hmm. World Cup. Yeah. Oh. Is he French? Yes. Very much so. All right. Hmm. Ah, but he was born in France, but he, he has opted for the Senegal national team. Yes, yes, I saw that. He just but, got cut. He just missed it. But yeah, I was going to say he'd be over there now. He just missed. Oh. Yeah, he was complaining. Yeah, he's 29, so I'm sure he was like, eh. yeah. Although keepers can last a little bit. True. A little bit longer. There's Anthony Rizzo. Ryan, you actually bought the Padres in 22. Can you change it? Yes. Um, just go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, hit the support button, and uh, and let us know that you want a refund on that. And then buy the other team before it goes. someone else gets it, and then and then you'll be set.
There's JT Real Muto, piece of his jersey. It's going to go to, I think so, Sam with the Phillies. Nice. Well, so now that impeccable basketball, the only thing that's left is that, that last filler. Because Mark just picked up the three spots that I put back in. Now, there are spots purchased in the filler, so that's why I got I to gotta keep that up there. But let me write last filler in front of it. It's a one-box break. I'm pretty sure that's from a fresh case. I'll double-check that a little bit later tonight. But let's go for it. Let's get that done. All right, there's Yosemite. Been there. That's great. Beautiful place. Will Smith, the catcher. Well, thank you guys Ooh, for letting me join. Nice. Thanks, Evan. Big thanks to Evan for getting that knocked out. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Good luck. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Thanks, Evan. Anytime, my friend. Huge help. So now we can just fly through the rest of this case. So here's a box. Each half stack will represent a box. Another box. There's a box. Let's get four boxes right here. We've got two more on the cart. And let's keep rolling along. So now we'll, now that we're all caught up here, we can pick up the pace a little bit. There's Mesa Verde National Park. And here is a piece of Todd Helton's lumber, Colorado. That's going to be for Adam and the Rockies. I want to watch Creighton, Arkansas right now. Oh, there's much going on tonight. Maybe we'll go a little hockey Sabres Canadians. What other uh, baseball news has been happening? I've, uh, my, my head's kind of been in, in World Cup mode, so I haven't really been keeping track of the... I've been really keeping track of if there's anything really going on here. I think winter meetings are going to happen in a week or so. So there may be some more transactions or more rumors kind of popping from there. I think it's in San Diego. Should I go down to San Diego and just be like, hey... How can I help? And there is a uh, Otto Lopez for the Blue Jays, an auto auto going to TJ and the Blue Jays. There you go, TJ. Sorry, Acadia National Park. I do like a good pastrami sandwich. And there is Don Sutton. 
piece of his jersey for the Dodgers. Andrew with my Dodgers, with the boys in blue. Got a Bobby Wood Jr. for the Royals. Adam with Kansas City. Looking at MLBTradeRumors.com. Not, not too much going on here. Phillies extending Dave Dombrowski uh, through 2027. So just some people who are players being non-tendered. Reds acquired Kevin Newman, Twins acquiring Kyle Farmer, so some little side deals here and there. There's Cody Bellinger, yeah, he was non-tendered. But I thought I thought someone might snap him up right away, but I don't know. Maybe the market is a little uh not surprising, might be a little quiet on Cody Bellinger. Could have had the qualifying offer. The Dodgers not given the qualifying offer, but it would have been almost $19 million. I'm not sure if they wanted to do that, but the market kind of dries up on Cody Bellinger. If the Dodgers can get him back for one year, $10 million on like a show me deal or something like that, eight, $10 million, I'll, I'll do it. If you're Cody Bellinger, maybe you want to do that too. You're, you're in a familiar organization. You don't have to go somewhere new. No pressure of that. And try to ball out, and then maybe get a big contract at the end of I think the Dodgers, though, my Dodgers, I think are definitely trying to get a little, a hair under that luxury tax. I think they've already been in the tax a couple, a couple seasons in a row. And I think if it's three consecutive seasons, I think that's when it, that's when the most severe punishments happen. Rick T with the Tigers will get all those Torkelsons. So I want to say it's something as hefty as like, as like maybe, maybe paying like 50% on the dollar for every dollar that's over the luxury tax. And then I think there's maybe draft pick implications and Dodgers love their draft picks. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're not going to do nothing, but I don't know if they're going to be as free spenders as everyone thinks they're going to be. They're, they're going to be like, yeah, they're going to get Aaron Judge, they'll get Carlos Rodon, they'll get Jacob DeGrom. I don't know if that's going to happen. And those luxury tax limits, as some of you may know already, are um, are based off of your payroll at the end of the regular season, not at the beginning. So you also have to, most teams will also have to think about, here's Teoscar Hernandez, Blue Jays edition going to TJ. You also think about like potential trades for taking on salary in the middle of the season. So you gotta maybe leave a little wiggle room there as well. We'll see. I don't think the Dodgers are really on Aaron Judge, but since they're a big market team with deep pockets, I think there'll be a lot of people trying to connect dots and keep getting the clicks on, uh, on articles. There is Jorge Polanco for the Twins. That'll be for Corey.
And a Julio Rodriguez, another rookie card for Brandon. You can find some parallelism. Here's another another duck, a stiff tail duck. Nice. cheese. I'm not trying to figure out what they're going to do with Justin Turner. Not getting any younger. I think they want to get him back, though. I think they'll figure out something. The Dodgers are probably going to look to... Maybe getting a little younger on that team. Try to see what some of their up-and-coming prospects can do. Let me try to add a little, little spark, a little energy to that team. For any team, starting pitching is the key, right? Look at the last, I don't know, X amount of World Series winners. Most of them are winning off the backs of strong starting pitching, which is something, I mean, the Dodgers had the depth for the regular season, but I don't know if they had the frontline guys, you know, to really, to really go deep into the playoffs. There's DJ LeMahieu, Yankees, Sam. Yeah, the Bellinger's probably only get a one or two year deal at this point. That's that sounds about right. I don't know if you're if you're any team if you're committing too many years to that guy. And I don't think Bellinger wants to commit too many years at whatever low salary he's going to be offered. If he can just find like if he can just find like one you know one or two years, maybe a year and an option or something like that. I think he wouldn't mind that to try to rebuild that swing. And if he has a pretty good season, he might be able to take that show me contract and, and turn it into a bigger, uh, here's a scotter, turn it into a more lucrative deal. Yeah, I guess the Cubs could sign him. I mean, I feel like if it's just a one-year deal for Bellinger, I feel like a lot of people, I feel like a lot of teams would be willing to take a flyer on him. If it's like, I don't know, the qualifying offers, what, what almost $18, $19 million, so 12 to $15 million. 
probably get for a, for a season. There's Anna Boger. Where's, where's he going to end up? And that's another big question. That's going to go to the Red Sox. Well, this one will go to the Red Sox. This Anna Boger will go to the Red Sox. That's for T and the Red Sox. Speaking of the Cubs, there's Patrick Wisdom. That'll be for Carl and the Cubbies. baseball non-sports spot for Sam Charlotte North lacrosse player people are saying lacrosse along with pickleball one of the fastest growing sports in the uh, in the United States all right two boxes to go here's the hot box which we'll do last, and we'll do a little recap at the end too. Here's the last regular box, and then we'll do all the box loaders as well. I don't know what numbers they use, if though, if Pickleball had like a thousand fans, and then next season they have two thousand fans, are you like, yeah, it's a it's the fastest growing sport. It grew by 100%. And baseball only grew by 2%. Here's a uh, Alex Verdugo relic. Doogie. Going to Rick and the Red Sox. Cubs are going to likely to sign Hap and Horner extensions. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I can see that. And another rip card, Yachty. 59 out of nine. I think we've had three rip cards in this. Was, who was the, was Wilson Contreras maybe the first one? Well, we had that Babe Ruth box loader rip card and now one for the Cardinals, Alan Murdoch. There you go, Alan. It's a golden eye. There's a duck called a golden eye. That's pretty awesome. So it's a good, good James Bond movie too. football right here, more for the non-sport, non-baseball spot. Jonathan Taylor. It's for Sam. It's a good spot to get. And a couple Bobby Wood, uh, no, one mini Bobby Wood Jr. and a regular sized Wander Franco. Mini Bobby Wood Jr. going to Adam. 
And Adam also has the Rays, so you'll get the full-sized uh, Wander Franco as well. Nice. Wish we saw some more parallels or more hits for these sort of upper-tier rookies, but none yet. All right, final box coming up. So all these cards will ship because they are especial. They're not commons. Nice, we got a Wander Franco. And a Julio Rodriguez. That's for Brandon in Seattle. Get the Alex Rodriguez too. And there is Todd Helton, another piece of his lumber for Adam in the Rocks. First half of the box down, second half of the box, and then we'll do the box loaders. And we've got a rookie auto that's Giovanni Moran. Moran going to Minnesota, Corey with the mini auto. little stack here. We got the Eider, another duck. And a Kershaw relic. That'll be for Andrew. And that my friends is is that Let's see what we got here in these box loaders we got a Denali National Park Got a nice Otani. For the Angels, that'll be for Adam, Ronald Acuna Jr. And these are all the same size, all right. Nice. All right, there's Box loader, Mike Trout, Angels, Adam. We got another Mike Trout. Another one for Adam. And 
And a Bryce Harper Phillies. That's going to be for Sam. Got a Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers. That'll be for Andrew. Got a Tatis Jr. for the Friars. That's going to be for Shea and the Padres. Got a uh, Christian Yelich, Jeremy and the Brewers. Javier Baez for the Tigers. Detroit, that's going to be for Rick. And the last one. Is going to be a Shohei Otani. Nice. Angels. That's for Adam. And there you go, gang. That was the break. That was 2022 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. 12 box. Random team break number three. A lot of nice box loaders there. A lot of minis. A lot of fun stuff. One highlight right here is the giant box loader rip card. Babe Ruth going to the Yankees. And here are some of your hits. From the 12th box to the first box. Keep your eye out for more Ginter on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think personal breaks on Instagram, at jazbeesbreaks on the IG. Should have some personal boxes left if you want to go th work on those. Nice Martin Sheen autograph. Some nice relics. There is the Wilson Contreras rip card with the Yachty rip card and the Bay Ruth rip card. It's a good box for rip cards. And there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.